What's a very disturbing fact almost nobody knows, there's 21 to 46 million slaves living right now. In 1977, the average life expectancy in Cambodia was 18.91 years. That's because at Mer Rouge killed anyone who wore glasses, because that meant they knew how to read, and therefore were a bad intellectual. I'm late but the average adult male has a biting force high enough to rip someone's throat out with their teeth. Found Drake Grimes. Encephalitis lethargica causes you to slowly backquote survive, but not backquote live. After bouts of deep sleep, where patients can be woken very easily, but fall immediately back into the deep sleep, they are left with post encephalitis symptoms. The main one being that their minds are fully aware and conscious, but they can't physically function a bit like locked in syndrome, and they display extreme apathy. They even know they are displaying apathy, but can't express any emotions, so they are completely stuck until someone throws a ball at them, which they then can immediately catch, or until someone holds their hand and walks alongside them, then they can suddenly walk, otherwise nothing. So so bizarre. Sounds like a college freshman. It used to be believed that babies as old as 15 months couldn't feel pain. As a result, doctors would perform surgery without anesthesia. Doctors used muscle relaxants on the infants to prevent squirming, essentially paralyzing the babies for the duration of the procedure. How long ago was this? Reports indicate that this continued up until the 1980s. As an infant in the late 80s, I fell and split the top of my scalp open. Local doc refused to numb my skin BC according to him babies that little. I was maybe a year old. If that, don't feel pain. I'm very glad I can't remember back that far, because it would probably have really effed me up. This is ridiculous. My daughter dislocated her shoulder at like 9 months and she screamed bloody effing murder. Due to fresh drinking water being so scarce on the Galapagos Islands, some bird species, such as the Galapagos hawk, have adapted by drinking the blood of other animals, the original backquote Gatorade. Approximately 2100 children are reported missing every day in the US, or one every 41 seconds. On the bright side, most will be returned unharmed. On the bleak side, the survival rate very rapidly declines over time. On the even bleaker side, in the cases of missing young adult men in the US, there's fair chance a missing individual will be ruled deceased after a rather short search with minimal evidence. Even if nobody is found, generally it's labeled as deceased due to natural causes, that is, drowning in any nearby source of water, getting lost in any nearby woods, just getting lost anywhere and dying, after which the search is completely abandoned. Yeah, the whole 48 hours rule is pretty disturbing. Mission goes from rescue to recovery terrifyingly quickly, even though abduction is top of the heap for bad scenarios, it surprises a lot of people, that a good portion of those missing kids are special needs children, that literally just wandered off into the world, and as you said die somewhere alone, I can see why parents look into locators and other ways, to keep tabs on their kids location. Around 17 milliliters of human blood can substitute for an egg in baking, Finally, I can make a decent souffle for my vegan gf. The Romans used to torture people by having goats lick their feet. Goats like salt, so they would soak their feet in salt water. Eventually the goat's tongue was rough enough that the skin would wear away. Then you'd have a wound with salt trickling in. At first I thought you meant that they would soak the goat's feet in salt water. Game of goat's bath water. Organ officers, including the chemical weapon sarin gas, work by inhibiting your muscles ability to relax. Your muscles basically constrict and can't unconstrict, causing what feels like a muscle cramp through your entire body your arms, your chest, your eyes, your tongue, everything. It most frequently kills via asphyxiation, because you can't exhale. Surviving means a permanent, irrecoverable loss of motor function, even with rapid medical treatment. Also originally discovered, while chemists were trying to make a more effective insecticide, I'd say they succeeded. Yeah, I'd say that counts as disturbing. Also odorless and colorless. Sounds like a horrible way to die. Don't forget that, while this is happening, you will also be pissing and shitting yourself while vomiting. The way we are taught to remember the Tarxidrome, collection of poison symptoms, of organophosphates is sludge, salvation, lacrimation, crying, urination, diaphoresis, sweating, 
GI upset, shitting yourself, emesis, vomiting. All of these body functions are controlled by muscarinic receptors. These little guys receive signals from the brain to do all the stuff I mentioned, except in a controlled fashion. Organ office let's just turn off the, the stop control. Looks like Lim not sleeping today. Thank you for the comment. Sleep tight. A toddler's adult teeth are right below their eyes. I just looked up a picture of a toddler's skull and all I gotta say is what the actual f. Oh crap. So did I. HTTPS www.reddit.com slash r slash interesting gas slash comment slash 8pjcvx slash r underscore child's underscore skull underscore it underscore shows underscore their underscore baby underscore teeth underscore with underscore the slash. I've always wondered, does something fill in the areas previously occupied by one's adult teeth when they are a child? Or are these areas more or less hollow voids in our faces as an adult? Bone fills that area in. The bones growing are what push the adult teeth down and into the mouth. One of the first symptoms of heart disease can be sudden death. According to the FBI, over 40% of murders go unsolved, meaning if you get killed, there's a pretty good chance the person who killed you will not spend a day in jail. Bad news for you, good news for me. I think about the likelihood of a murder being solved in the small town where I live sometimes, for example. Say when 911 gets called after the discovery, it's not going to be some TV slash CSI scene, where the detective is like a h h point, but what do I see here? This hair is from a rare breed of Mexican cat that's only sold as one exotic breed pet shop, and then they go on to check sale records and track down the killer. Here, it would be more like, our one and only, fat ass cop shows up, after about an hour or so and just sort of bumbles around contaminating the shot of any possible evidence, not doing any good at all. And if by chance a larger department actually stepped in to do some investigating, the scene would be garbage. I could murder all damn day. If it makes you feel better, small town and rural police actually tend to solve a higher percentage of murders for a variety of reasons compared to their big city counterparts, though there are obviously exceptions. A vitamin D deficiency can make you suicidal, and deficiencies among adults is very common. Like more than 50% of the population in the US, my doctor says that where I live, Northern Ontario, they don't test for vitamin D deficiency, they just treat for it. Because everyone here is deficient, how does this work? Lack of sunlight, all the gamers and northerners are suffering right now. There are 8 nooks that are missing all around the world. Oh that's actually not all of them. According to this, there's a grand total of 51 nuclear weapons lost in the world. 40 Russian, 11 American. One of them is apparently half a mile off the coast of Georgia, and the city of Savannah is within its blast radius. The first face transplant was for an 8 year old girl named Sandeep Kaur who got her entire face ripped off by getting her hair caught in a thresher in 1994. The parents came in with her face in two pieces in a plastic bag. The transplant was a success, and the girl grew up and is studying medicine. And if you've ever wondered what her face torn off looks like, they have photos of it that aren't bloody, but very disturbing. Here you go. Serious question is it a transplant? If it is your own tissue, isn't it just reattachment or autologous transplant? I think it would be called an auto transplant instead, but I could be wrong. When a woman with breast implants is cremated, the implants will melt into goo. It drips to the bottom of the furnace and needs to be cleaned up once cooled. I wonder now, what happens to metal rod implants, pacemakers, etc. Pacemakers have to be removed and metal implants just stay in and get tossed after. The dolphin who played flipper committed suicide, had he caught a nasty virus, then there was the ever-present football player Arpist. On average, 30 people die in the US annually in elevator-related incidents. This is my worst nightmare. If you really want to lose sleep at night, consider elevators at Houston Street, Joseph Hospital which have a history of injuring people including decapitation of one surgical resident in 2003. Elevators are still the safest mode of transportation by a long shot, measured by how many people use them, and how few accidents there actually are compared to that. There are strains of Krebacteria bacteria that are resistant to all known antibiotics. I've said it on here before but it still disturbs me to think about. More eels have a second set of jaws and teeth inside their throat. 
they latch onto prey with their primary jaws, and then the second set can move forward, and either latch on and pull the prey down their throat, or eat away at larger prey without having to let go. Creepy as f. Turkeys love the taste of their own kind so much, that they will cannibalize themselves, while they are still alive. They're the cinnamon toast crunch squares of the meat world. Got an unusually high rate of birth defects, cancer and other horrific maladies in your city's population. Surprise, there's a good chance your city is located on, or near, a superfund site. Non-avian dinosaurs did not go extinct immediately at the asteroid strike. There would have been a period when the survivors kept on, slowly declining in number, starving to death, before being able to mate and produce offspring. Long article, but have fun reading about this pond filled with stranded Cretaceous sea creatures that was created minutes after the asteroid hit the Yucatan. Hidden Valley Ranch is owned by Clorox. The sun dies in about 5 billion years, but Earth will be habitable for only another 500 million years, because the sun's luminosity increases gradually, turning the planet into a dead, scorching rock relatively soon. There's a type of planet called rogue planets that follow no orbit, so it is entirely possible that we have a Jupiter-sized ocean hurtling through space at 40x the speed of sound and we will likely never see one. Up until the 1800s dentures were usually made out of dead soldiers' teeth. As recently as the early 1800s, people ate parts of corpses, believing them to have medicinal properties. Blood, power ground up from the human skull, and human fat were all thought to be cures for various ailments. Arguably, it still goes on today, with the practice of consuming placenta for its dubious health benefits, there was a fad for eating mummies. It turns out, that there's a limited supply of mummies, so people started making mummies for other people to eat. My local Benihana removed their glory hole and everybody I've talked to about it is pretending, that it never existed. The weirdest part is, that the next closest Benihana still has their glory hole, so it's clearly not a corporate decision. There is so much WTF in this statement I don't even know where to start. I love that you say the next closest Benihana still has their glory hole as though one. It's natural to expect more than one fine Benihana in a metropolitan area. And two, glory holes are just a thing Benihanas have. There is a type of mushroom that can grow on small bugs and control them. Cordyceps. It has hundreds of strains, including ones that can hijack ants small spiders and even tarantulas, if it's any consolation. Mammal bodies are far too hostile for cordyceps to survive in. Although most insects and other non-mammalian smaller animals are vulnerable to cordyceps, although it would have to have an adapted strain to be able to incubate in its non-native animal of choice. If you were to put the entire lifespan of the universe, from the Big Bang to the final heat death, onto a 24-hour clock, at the universe's current age, est, 13.8 billion years, we would not have reached the end of the first 30 seconds. If you were to go into the far future, past the point where there are no more solar systems, the planets have either been destroyed or become rogue planets where there are no more galaxies, everything either being swallowed up by black holes or being ejected from the galaxy, no more anything of normal matter due to proton decay, and no more black holes due to Hawking radiation. Even here at this point, you would not have reached 12 o'clock slash noon on our universe clock. The universe will spend most of its life as a dark, cold, empty void. You would be unlikely to find a single surviving subatomic particle in an area the size of the current observable universe. Est, 98 billion light years across, until the background temperature reaches minus 460 deg point f slash 273 deg point c slash 0 kelvin. At which point entropy wins, time becomes meaningless and the universe remains in a cold, dead state for all eternity. So this is a Wendy's drive through You are more likely to die on your way to buy a lottery ticket than you are to win the lottery. Rats can fit anywhere their head can fit through. The rest of their body is collapsible, and they have sort of hinged rib cages. One of the princesses of Ukraine liked to push in the soft spots on babies' heads. Bed bugs have a needle for a dick and stab the female. Since females don't have a hole, imagine getting stabbed during sex. You mean without having to pay extra? Veterinary nursing has one of the highest suicide rates of any profession. There's a species of spider that can swim. There's a species of spider that rolls itself into a ball 
and goes around the desert like a tumbleweed. That sounds a little adorable actually. If you get bitten by a human, you absolutely have to go to the hospital right away, because the amount of deadly bacteria in any given person's mouth could actually kill you, if it enters your bloodstream. If a human bites your dog be careful, every full moon he will put on clothes, try to barbecue, and complain about taxes, aren't there theories, that say how we were gonna evolve to have venomous bites, I think we already have, I had a friend who was bitten by a crackhead and he didn't get to the hospital soon enough, so he ended up with many of his organs shutting down due to sepsis, if pigs get fed meat, they start to cannibalize and eat each other, had to harvest them early one year, because of it, at any moment a nearby star could possibly become a gamma ray burster, and point a jet of radiation at the earth, that would vaporize us instantly. Math says a gamma ray burster located 100 light years away that aimed at us directly would generate the energy of 100 Hiroshima bombs per square mile across the entire exposed surface of the earth. Anything caught in this blast directly would be vaporized instantly. It would also instantly boil the oceans, and rip the atmosphere off the planet. It would end all life and leave the earth a charred cinder in space, and it is 100% impossible to see one coming, since it's moving at the speed of light. Because gamma rays are light, I'd be okay with that, I think. You never see it coming and it only lasts a fraction of a second. There are far worse ways to go, I'd rather not know, and just be gone. No terror, no pain, no frantic calls trying to tell all of your loved ones anything, no leaving behind pets that will die without you. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't seem too bad. I feel bad for the half of the planet not facing the burst, since they'll probably experience a much worse death. Mom pick me up I'm scared. Just to make you feel better, astronomers only detect new gamma ray bursts every single day. Bayer. The pharmaceutical company, used to be called Igfarben, and were the ones who produced the Zyklon B chemical the Nazi used in the gas chambers of the concentration camps. The United States accidentally dropped a nuke in North Carolina, and it was found hanging on a tree, luckily not detonated. Owls can't be choked, which means that someone had to try, and choke an owl on more than one occasion and fail. MMM yes, harder, WHOU. Ants farm aphids like we farm cows, they protect them from predators, and then eat a few every now and then. As once said by Arthur C. Clarke, we are either alone in this universe or not, both possibilities are equally as terrifying, there's no maybe, one of these possibilities must be true, thanks for the correction you slash the angriest badger. I think it might be a decently common fact but it disturbs me so much that I'm gonna say it anyway. Less than 5% of the ocean has been explored by humans. Less than 5% of the ocean has been explored by humans. I would guess that the 95% remaining is likely to be water too. Ha. Ah, that's what underwater people want you to believe. When your dog chews a squeaky toy and plays with it, they enjoy it because it reminds them of killing a small animal. The Yellowstone called her a witch, if it were to blow, could decimate most of the planet moves almost as fast as your fingernails grow. There is a slight chance, that the universe ceases, to exist in the next moment, anytime. Fine by me, I just hope I can get a good table. There are people out there now being held captive somewhere, whether it's for sex, ransom, or simply because their captor is batch crazy. That there's people out there who get aroused by the thought of being, or actually being furniture, proceeds to cosplay a refined wardrobe. Diamonds are extremely common just every diamond mine no to man is privately owned, and they keep them in vaults, and only let small amounts out at a time. There's over 200 dead bodies on Mount Everest, and they're used as waypoints for other climbers. I'd say the amount of trash people leave there is also pretty scary. And human waste, there's so much human waste from people climbing Everest, that it's tainted the local water supply of villages at the base of the mountain. The worst way to die, is probably by an open stomach, wound because your stomach acid eats slowly corrodes your body, while you bleed out. For every 50 pounds overweight you are you lose an inch of your dick. So I'm like 50 pounds underweight. Where is my extra inch? The overweight guy ate it too. If your group of friends is comprised of 5 or more people, chances are at least one of you will die before you're 40. When you're reading this a person died. Everyone stop reading this post. 
Thomas Edison electrocuted an elephant. They all say back quote to who autopsy at my autopsy. As a cancer researcher, I was fascinated to learn that the most common cancer is lung cancer. The majority of the patients were, of course, smokers. But that's not the worst part. The second biggest cause was secondhand smoking, usually from a close relative or spouse who is a smoker. So millions of people are unknowingly leading their relatives, children and spouse towards death because of their smoking habits.